morning, church. Can we stand up? Okay, before we start, uh, I want to read from 2 Kings chapter 6. So this is when the armies of Syria were coming against Israel. from verse 14. So he sent their horses and chariots and a great army, and they came by night and surrounded the city. When the servant of the man of God rose early in the morning and went out, behold, an army with horses and chariots was all around the city. And the servant said, Alas, my master, what shall we do? He said, Do not be afraid, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Then Elisha prayed and said, O oh Lord, please open his eyes that he may see. So the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. And I want to read another verse, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. So as we sing this first chorus, I just want us to know that, you know, uh, the, the lyrics of the song goes like this. It says, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm actually surrounded by you. So, you know, you may be in a place like Elisha and the servant where, you know, it looked like you're surrounded by chariots and, you know, the enemy. But when God opened the servant's eyes, he saw what it actually was what they were actually surrounded by and they were actually surrounded by God so and also um, second verse that I read was you know that we fight our battles not with flesh we fight our battles with the word of God our testimony and the blood of Jesus so as we sing this song let's declare it let's declare uh, let's look to our mountain let's look to our problems let's look in the face of our enemy and sing this and declare it because this is the truth This is how I fight my battle. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles.
worship and that's how we fight our battles not with harsh words not with our physical strength but in praise and worship by declaring who God really is by praising him by loving him that's how we overcome let's just open up our mouths let's engage in worship let's love Jesus this morning let's declare that this is how we fight this is how we'll fight oh through praise and worship through praise and worship surround us with your presence father even when we don't see it even when we're in the midst of a fire
can we sing it like we believe it? God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness. Can we uh, we just sing the chorus again? And as we sing, um, I just want us to, you know, if there's anything, if there's any uh, bondage that you've been struggling with, any sort of addiction, or if the doctor has declared a negative report over you or your family members, let's just sing this over them. Let's just believe that the resurrection power lives in them, is alive in them, that they will live and they will not die, that we will live and we will not die. Let's just sing this chorus again. I will live, I will not die. The resurrection power of Christ alive in me. And I am free in Jesus' name. I will.
We never doubt that the sun will rise in the morning and it'll 
you know, this, that the sun will come up and the sun will go down. We never doubt that, God. But sometimes we doubt your faithfulness, even though it is more faithful, it, it is more strong than the forces of nature themselves. But there's, we don't even have to sing about it because this is who you are. You're faithful. You're a, <laughs> that's who you are, God. But we sing it for ourselves, God, because of our hearts. Because of our weak hearts, God, that we need to declare to ourselves that you are faithful. As surely as the sun will rise, you will come. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. As surely as the dawn appears, you will come. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about that. As surely as the dawn appears, you will come. There's no doubt about that, no doubt about that. As surely as the dawn appears, you will come. We'll see you do it again. I've seen you part, you part the world.
The cross has the final word. The cross has the final word. Sorrow may come in the darkest night, but the cross has the final word. The cross.
nothing stronger, there's nothing higher, there's nothing greater than the name of my Jesus, all the Can we sing that bridge again? There's nothing stronger, there's nothing higher. Just one last time. There's nothing stronger, there's nothing higher, there's nothing greater than the name of Jesus. All the honor, all the power, all the glory is to the name. Just sing your own song, church. All my worship is to the name of Jesus. All my affection is to the name of Jesus. Oh, all my delight is in the name of Jesus.
we just lift our hands up to the Lord to say God Lord Jesus you are beautiful we worship you Jesus you are beautiful how great you are Lord thrones and dominions and kingdoms presidents and 
all great men and everyone will bow before you. You are Lord. You are God. And we worship you, Jesus. Lord, this morning, even in this place, here we've assembled together, God, just to worship you and love you, Jesus, and honor you. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you will have your way. Just move upon us. Release the glory of God in this place. Touch our lives. God, wherever we need to be touched, God. For those of us who are broken and hurting and in pain, we just pray that right here, right now, in your presence, Father, there will be that release. There will be that healing that we need. And we just pray that every work of the enemy be broken, that sicknesses, diseases, afflictions be broken off of our bodies, and torments be broken off of our minds, and every tormenting spirit, everything that's causing trouble and torment and oppression over our minds be broken because we are in the presence of Jesus, the Nazarene. We are in His presence. God, let your ministering spirits of the angels of God minister right now in this place. Breaking chains, releasing people, carrying out your voice, the voice of your word in this place, God. Let the glory of God be manifested in this place. We pray that those who may not know Jesus will encounter Jesus in a powerful way. That those who need to be saved will be saved of God today. That those of us who, who need our lives transformed will experience the transforming power of Jesus Christ in this place. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. And let Jesus Christ be honored and glorified. Jesus' name.